Thanks. New on 2 News at 5. Tulsa crimes may be solved a lot quicker now that a new forensic lab is complete. The new lab inside the OSU Center for Health Sciences facility gives police and students the tools they need to wrap up cases more efficiently. 2 News anchor Dina Silk takes us inside. Call it CSI Tulsa. This is one of the many labs offered to faculty and students here. It's equipment and space they've never had before. I am isolating certain colonies of, well, this is specific one of Steph Aureus, and growing them in this anaerobic chamber. We may not understand everything she's talking about, but to the students and staff here at the OSU Center for Health Sciences, it's casual conversation. Trang Pham is studying to be a forensic pathologist. Across the hall, figure out which ones match. Kelly Spencer is studying toxicology. I could work for the FBI or something like that, or just a local crime lab too, like downstairs, TPD. That's right, the Tulsa Police Department's new forensic lab is on the first two floors of OSU's new research facility. OSU President Burns Hargis commented on the unique partnership at Tuesday's grand opening. Not only will we be pursuing scientific achievement, will also be pursuing the economic prosperity of our community. TPD's old forensic lab was far from the glamour portrayed on TV shows. Equipment was outdated and space limited. Police Chief Chuck Jordan says the new equipment means a faster turnaround on solving crimes. If we have a critical case, we can get DNA out much quicker, make identification on somebody much quicker. It'll be a, a boon to the citizens and to our crime fighters. Students and staff are also reaping the benefits and enjoying some much needed space. I feel like a kid with a new chemistry set. You know, I get, oh, it's so exciting. Jay Bullard is a research assistant in the forensic lab. The equipment is so much better than what we had before. Future scientists in training who could someday help solve crimes in the city of Tulsa. Well, this is a very unique partnership, and I think it's going to benefit the citizens of Tulsa for years to come. Students currently use two floors of this building and hope to expand to a third floor in the years to come. In West Tulsa, Dina Silk, 2 News works for you. City sales tax revenue and higher ed bond money paid for that lab.